TL Travelers and welcome to or welcome back to the TL Travel YouTube channel. This morning we are waking up at Secrets Tulum in Tulum, Mexico. This is actually one of the newer Secrets resorts, but we have stayed with Secrets before pretty close by at Secrets Acamal and had a pretty amazing stay. So even though we are here for just a really short trip before an even bigger trip that I can't wait to share with you, I am still so excited to to show you around and share our experience here. So I'm gonna start by showing you around our junior suite here at Secrets Tulum, but if there is something specific that you've come to this video looking for, feel free to skip ahead using the chapter links in the description. Um, but without further ado, I'm just gonna start and give you a tour of our suite here at the resort. So this time around, we are staying in a junior suite tropical view. And when you enter, this suite has a beautiful and spacious bathroom with lots of luggage storage, along with all of your standard bathroom amenities off to one side. And then when you walk further into the room, you will find your king bed along with a small seating area, work desk, flat screen TV, and mini bar as well as floor to ceiling sliding doors to exit out to the balcony where you will find a bathtub along with some beautiful jungle views. So for your reference, this room is on the third floor of building three and looks out over one of the many quieter pool areas. But for even more clarification, this resort is just four buildings in total set amidst the greenery of Tulum two fully circular buildings and two half circle buildings. So our room is in that half circle there that you're seeing on the left. And then the main building with the lobby, rooftop pools, rooftop restaurants, main pool, spa and buffet are at the back there. And then one more thing that we love about this room that they actually had at the Secrets in Akamal as well is the little room service trap door situation. Ooh. So when you're done with your dirty dishes, instead of putting them in the hall, you can put them in here. And then the door at the front there leads out to the hallway for them to come and collect when you're done. So the plan now is to get out of the room, go grab something to eat, maybe grab something to drink, and then eventually make our way down to the beach because Although this resort is not actually directly on the beach, there is a shuttle down to a private beach club that is beachfront with the resort. So we're super excited to check that out and bring you along with us. So before hitting the beach, we actually decided to head down to the pool that's closest to our room and spend a little time relaxing in the sunshine and just enjoying some drinks from Edgewater Bar which is located sort of central to all four buildings. It's a super cute spot and it's really the closest thing that they have right now to a true swim up bar. So we're staying in Secrets to Loom in one of these like back building grotto bits, which is the only reason we really know that this pool exists kind of off from the uh, bar over there. And there's truly nobody back here. Pretty busy today. Pretty busy today. <laughs> Not. So we just have this whole little grotto to ourselves. <gasps> Lovely. We then stumbled upon an energy ceremony on our way to the shuttle. And so we stopped to join in and learn a little more about that before making our way to the lobby. Shuttle pickup for the beach is available approximately every 30 minutes and the drive takes about 20 minutes with screens in the lobby to track the location of each driver. The first shuttle leaves at 9 a.m. and the last shuttle leaves the beach and returns back to the resort at 6 p.m.
Okay, so it is a new day. Um, we had a great day at the beach yesterday at the beach club. And this morning we are feeling admittedly both a little burnt and a little burnt out. So we are just relaxing here at the room. And then we have a spa treatment booked. So we plan to bring you along for that. If you're someone who like needs to be on the beach every single day, all day, this resort probably isn't the resort for you just with the shuttle situation heading down and back. Um, it's a beautiful beach, but there is also another secret, um, Secrets Akamal, that's located fairly close to here that is right on the beach. It's a little bit more spread out, but it has the same vibe. So we've been there and I'll definitely link some information videos from that resort if you wanna compare the two. But we are having an amazing time just relaxing here. Um, and yeah, this morning just hydrating and then we will be off to the spa. So I will bring you along. my head so good. <laughs> okay, so we are back at the room now. That was a fabulous service. Much needed um, relaxation. I feel a hot mess as you do after <laughs> any massage, um, but it was so, so good. It was funny, they did take us to the hydrotherapy room in the beginning. Um, because they thought that we had access to that, which we didn't with the package that we booked. So we were both like not clothed at all um, underneath our robes. And he's like giving us the rundown of like, this is how you use the sauna, then you're gonna jump in the pool. And it's like a public, like not public, but there's other people in the circuit with you. And we're just standing there like, um, sir, we are naked. So that was a funny moment. But yeah, the service was great. Couples massage, great. Um, and the space was really nice and relaxing. You can't really tell when you first walk into the building here because it's just kind of like up on the rooftop. It doesn't really look like anything special. Um, but then you go down the elevator and it's actually like much more spa-like down there. So just in case you're wondering. Um, yeah, it was lovely. So we're just gonna hop in the shower, get all this oil off of us and then continue on with our day. And I'll come back and do like more of a full review of our stay at the end. Yay. So we decided to spend our afternoon at the rooftop pool and sky bar. The rooftop for us seemed to have the best service as well as the best snacking menu as well for things like chips and guac and ceviche. And there was definitely more of a social vibe on the rooftop as well. Aside from Sky Bar though, there's two other snacking locations, Veranda and Barefoot Grill, which are located around the main pool, as well as three a la carte restaurants for non-preferred club members for dinner, two on the rooftop for Mediterranean or Asian fusion, and another that's tucked away at the back of the property, which is more of an outdoor jungle steakhouse vibe. And then of course you have your staple sports bar, which is central to all four buildings in front of Edgewater Bar. And I should mention there's no limit or reservations needed for a la carte here. So you just show up when you're hungry and enjoy. For preferred club members though, there's also the grotto, which serves an a la carte throughout the day. Their lobster mac and cheese was delicious, highly recommend it. And there's also another pool back there for preferred club members only. The buffet is also open for breakfast and lunch and located just behind the main pool and underneath the lobby. Honestly, the breakfast there was nothing to write home about, but we did enjoy their lunch options. And there's also a coffee shop hidden around the outside of the building where you can grab sweet treats and specialty coffees if a caffeine and sugar kick is something that you're craving. So that is my overview of our stay here at 
Secrets Tulum. Honestly, such a beautiful property. Um, I'm not gonna get too much into all the various pools because there are quite a few, but in short, each building really has its own sort of grotto-like pool um, that's a little bit quieter, a little bit pri more private, as well as the main pool. And there's some rooftop pools. And then of course, there's also a pool at the beach club. So no matter what kind of vibe you're going for, if you're looking for something quieter, um, something more upbeat um, and a little more social, there's always going to be something for you. And because this resort is a little bit more, it's spread out more vertically than anything. Um, it's not like a big, huge property. So you're going to find whatever kind of vibe you're looking for just by having a little walk around. And um, we do prefer kind of a smaller resort vibe. So this spot was perfect for us. Again, if you are looking for something like this on the beach that's a little bit bigger, I would recommend checking out um, Secrets Akamal because we really did love our experience there as well. And I will link some of those videos in the uh, description down below, as well as up top so that you can check those out for a comparison. But both have been really great experiences. We've had such an amazing time here. and. Honestly, it's just been a short trip for us, so I'm nowhere near ready to leave, but I am glad that we took the time to head down this way and do a little bit of relaxing um, before heading off on another big adventure. So if you've not already hit that like and subscribe button, definitely go ahead and do it. I post new travel content here all the time from all over the world. We've got a ton of travel content coming your way. And until I see you next time, stay great, travel safe, and I'll see you in the next one.